Welcome back to Just Academy YouTube channel. Today we have a question and um, it's a partial fraction question. Uh, so we are going to go straight and um, solve the question. Solution. Uh, we are asked to split 2x over x minus 1 square multiplying x plus 2 into partial fraction. If you look at this, this is what we call proper fraction. Proper fraction in the sense that the denominator, the value of the denominator in degree is more than the numerator. So it's not an improper fraction. That is one. Two, this square outside this first bracket is called repeated square. Eh? From once, two, three, four, and above, we call it repeated square. And there is a way we split repeated square, which I'm going to show you now. So let's start by uh, presenting it as 2x, the same uh, equation is over x minus 1 square multiplying s plus 2. s plus 2 is equals to now a is equals to a over x minus 1. That is this first one. This first, there are two brackets here. This is the first one, plus b over the second bracket is x minus 1 square. That is how to split repeated square. If you find the LCM to treat this alone, this is what you will get. Just follow the procedure. Then plus the last bracket there is c over x plus 2. So our work now is to find the value of a, b, c in order to split this into partial fraction. Uh, so this is all called single fraction. This side is all called a partial fraction. To, to get the value of a, b, c now is what we, we, we want to solve for now. So the procedure now is that we'll find the LCM here. So let's step this down. 2x over x minus 1 square multiplying x plus 2 is equals to or equivalent to what's the LCM of 1, 2, 3? It will give us the same thing as x minus 1 square times s plus 2. Because the LCM of this, the LCM of these two is this. The LCM of these two is this times this. So this one going to this one, it will remain 1 here times a. So here is a times x minus 1 times in x plus 2 plus when s minus 1 square going to this denominator, this will cancel this, the whole of this, remaining only this. So we'll say b times what? x plus 2. Plus when this going to this denominator, this will cancel this, remaining this square. So that is c multiplied by x minus 1 square, which you can double if you like, square like this. Eh? Now, what is the next procedure? The next procedure is to cross multiply, but there is no need doing that. Since the denominator is the same, this will cancel this. This one will cancel this one. So we are left with, take note of this point now. We are left with 2x is equals to a times s minus 1 times s plus 2 plus b times s plus 2 plus c times s minus 1 square. Eh? Now, how do we find A, B, and C? Now, there are two main methods you can use. The first method is called comparing of coefficient method. We can open this bracket now, compare the coefficient, and use simultaneous equation to solve it. Then the other method is called cover-up method. I would prefer us to use cover-up method because it's shorter and, you know, it's easier for people to understand. Comparing of coefficient method is good, is nice, but it will always go to simultaneous, and it's going to go to simultaneous in three variables. Uh, so to, along that, to avoid that long process, let's use cover-up method. Cover-up is just, uh, it's just a name given to it. What do we mean by cover-up? If I want to cover up A now, I need one of these brackets to be zero. And for this one now to be zero, this bracket, first bracket to be zero, S has to be one. If S is one, this bracket is zero, and the whole of A is zero. So A is out. 
and if a is going out because s minus one is here and also here that means a and c is out remaining only b so i can come here now say put s equals to one to cover up or rather to find to find b to find b put s equals to one to find b the meaning that once i put s equals to one the whole of a is zero the whole of c is zero because if here is one one minus one zero c gives us zero if here is one one minus one zero zero times this bracket zero times a zero remaining only b so i will just come here now and say that two times one is equals to b what is b which is now one plus two anywhere you see as you put one so what that means is that we have that word that uh, uh, this time this will give us 2b or rather 3b that 3b is equals to what 2 and b is equals to what 2 all over what 3 so we have gotten b we have gotten b now that we have gotten b let, let's let's because of space maybe we'll do another one here now that we have gotten b let's go and see what we can cover up again if i put minus one here minus two rather if i put minus two here this bracket will give me zero and if here is zero a is out and also this b is out because s plus two is here so if i put s equals to two or rather minus two i will remove uh i will eliminate uh, or rather a and b is out remaining c so i will just simply say put s equals to minus two to find what to find c so we do that all i need to do here from this place now minus two is equals to a is already zero b is already zero c times minus two minus one square so this will give me so minus two minus one square oh please sorry to find x uh, c not x to find c now let's advance here so what do we have here two times minus two minus four is equals to this is minus two minus one minus three minus three square is plus nine that is nine c therefore we can say that c is equals to what minus four over nine so we have gotten c eh? now that we have gotten c what is remaining is remaining a eh? is remaining a and there is no other way we can find a because we are making use of this and this and this is this and this is this so to find a we can use any number we have not used yet and it's advisable to use something like um, one or two maybe i will advise you to avoid zero uh, zero will work but avoid zero so since we have used one let's use minus one just put s equals to minus one uh, put s equals to minus one when i mean all this put put is from here so if you put s equals to minus one we have two times minus one is equals to a times minus one minus one times minus one plus two plus b times minus one plus two plus c times minus one minus one square so let's see what that, what happened this is minus two is equals to minus two this is one 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 times minus two minus two times a minus two a what do we have here one we have plus b because this is one times b b here is minus two square four that is plus four c so record the value of b and c to to find a so have that minus two is equals to minus two a plus b what is b two over three plus c what is c c is minus four over what nine are you seeing it now so we are looking for what we are looking for a let's bring a here we have that two a is equals to what this one come back here plus two that is two over one plus two over three minus minus four times uh, four is 16 over nine so what do we have we have that two a okay please there is an error here this is not 14 four times four is 16 not 14 16 16 over 9 so we have 2 a lcm here is what 9 9 18 this go here 3 times 2 6 1 and 16 so what do we have now 
we have that this plus this or rather this and this will give me minus 10. 18 minus 10 will give me what? 8. That is 8 over 9. So A is equals to what? 8 over 9 divided by 2. Yeah? So you, of course you know that uh, 1 will go up, 2 comes down. So that will give us what? That A is what? Uh, 1 go up, 2 comes down. That is 8 over what? Over 18. Or you can cancel out to give us um, 1 over, that is um, uh, 4 over 9. Put the same thing as what? 4 over 9. 4 over 9. 4 over 9. 4 over 9. Uh -huh. So now let's present the final answer. Watch the way I will present the final answer. I want to manage this place because of space. So look at the final answer. We are coming here now and we say, therefore, therefore, that 2x over x minus 1 square times s plus 2 is equals to a over x minus 1 plus b over s minus 1 square plus C over x plus 2. So finally, what is our answer? 2x over x minus 1 square times s plus 2 is equal to what is a? a is 4 over 9. 4 over 9. You put 4 over 9 here. If you put 4 over 9 here, 9 will come down. As in, instead of writing 4 over 9, just write 4 here, bring the 9 down which is times x minus 1. Uh, that is 4 over 9 over this. The 9 is coming down by law of fraction. Plus, what is b? b is plus. So we have 2 over what is coming down for b. That is 2 over 3. 3 times what? s minus 1 square. And finally, c is negative. Since c is negative, we put minus here. Minus, what is c? 4 over 9, minus 4 over 9, right? 4, 9 done, then x plus 2. So this is our answer. This is where we're expected to stop. We have succeeded in splitting this into partial fraction. This, to check your answer, eh, to, because one thing about, the interesting thing about mathematics is that you can always know if you are correct. To check your answer, just solve only this side. If you solve only this side, this is what you are going to get. This is all you are going to get. Just solve only this side, you will get this. So this is how to split equation into partial fraction. Eh? This is how to split an expression into partial fraction. Uh, but there are different types of partial fraction. What we just did is what we call repeated square eh? and a proper fraction. Uh, there are denominators that cannot be factorized. Maybe in another class, I will treat that. So stay tuned, stay connected. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed and share this video. Thank you for watching. See you in our next class.